The St. Lawrence Market is a major public market in the center of Toronto, Canada. For many years, the St. Lawrence Market has been known internationally as a must-stop destination for any visitors to Toronto. Finally, in 2012, National Geographic named St. Lawrence Market the best food market in the world. A stop at the St. Lawrence Market is always a highlight when visiting Toronto. Its warm, vibrant atmosphere attracts hundreds of visitors daily, but also holds great sentimental value to Torontonians. Locals come for the fresh, quality produce, and often chefs will personally travel to the market to buy ingredients for their creations. In the market close connections are forged with the artisans, farmers and specialty vendors who are more than happy to share their passion and insider tips. While the grand and picturesque St. Lawrence Hall is primarily used as office and rental space for special events, people shop at the South and North markets. While the St. Lawrence Market is currently seeing more visitors again, it seems like it still hasn't fully recovered from the results of the pandemic, and it is definitely not as busy as it was before. The South Market is open every day except Mondays and holidays. The multi-level building is filled with vendors offering an extensive array of groceries, freshly prepared food, meat, cheese, and baked goods. To fully appreciate the St. Lawrence Market experience, you should visit on an empty stomach. There are lots of culinary delights to satisfy even the most discerning palate. For example, Churrasco's does a perfect Portuguese grilled chicken a yummy snack to enjoy while you explore the rest of the market. Deliso's Fine Meats offers high-quality cuts of meat, which you can order ahead of time if you're in a rush. If you love cheese, head to Olympic Cheese Mart and explore the 600-plus varieties. The St. Lawrence Market is located in a historical area, and it is one of the favorite markets for tourists to visit. You'll find all kinds of artisan cheese, chocolate, fruit, vegetables, meat, fish, souvenirs, and many other things. The market actually has two parts, the Southern Market and the Northern Market. The Southern Market sells food, and there is also a gallery on the second floor. The North Market, which has a history of more than a century, hosts a farmer's market on Saturdays. From dairy to organic fruits and vegetables, many of the farmers have provided farm fresh products at this location for generations. On Sundays the building becomes a marketplace for antiques.
Have fun exploring the South Market building with its restaurants, artisans and specialty food vendors offering visitors the unique and lively atmosphere of an authentic farmer's market, and the market gallery with changing exhibits dedicated to Toronto's art, culture and history. If you're feeling inspired by the endless selection of gourmet food, why not drop by for one of the market's cooking classes to learn how to prepare culinary masterpieces of your own? With classes on everything from baking to knife skills to cooking with wine, this is the perfect place to learn how to become a master chef. With this video, we also try to give you an overview of the current food prices in Toronto. What you see here are the grocery prices in December 2022. As at every market you should definitely take your time to compare prices before you shop. Especially the meat, fish and seafood selection is massive at this market. There are many exotic kinds of meat or seafood to choose from. So if that is your thing, you came to the right place. And if you are hungry you can have some of the stalls or restaurants within the market prepare you the freshest lunch or snack right there. Perhaps it does not come as a surprise, since you are in Canada, you will be able to find lots of different maple products at the St. Lawrence Market. From cookies, syrup, and candies to soaps and creams, this market has it all. And if you are on the hunt for some souvenirs, you should check out especially the basement level of the Southern Market building. On the lower level of the South Market, you will find more shops and restaurants as well as a juice bar and a shop that sells a variety of sweets, authentic French-style goods and chocolates that will satisfy any sweet tooth. There's lots to discover beyond food in the South Market, such as anything goes accessories, the perfect place to buy special gifts, and one-of-a-kind accessories. Another notable shop is Bright Sky Jewelry featuring beautiful jewelry pieces with gemstones. Check out Souvenir Market for keychains, pins, magnets, and other reminders of Canada. Intitata Impressions offers 100% Pima cotton clothing that's both cozy and breezy, perfect traveling attire.
There's no shortage of coffee selections for those who seek liquid energy, for example the popular Italian Illy coffee from Pasta Mia. While there, make sure to also purchase your favorite fresh pasta to make at home. Be aware that there is limited parking available. However, the market is just a 10-minute walk from Union Station and easily accessible by public transport. For the ultimate introduction, you can join local Toronto foodies at Culinary Adventures Company, Tastes and Tales or Bruce Bell Tours on a walking tour of the market. Currently the North Market in the St. Lawrence District is under construction. Once complete, it will be a spectacular state-of-the-art, multi-level, glass building designed to showcase one-of-a-kind views of the area, including the St. Lawrence Hall and the South Market. A temporary building has been constructed to house the Farmer's Market, an antiques market that normally occupy the space. The St. Lawrence Market is located on the southwest corner of Front Street and Lower Jarvis Street. The market complex also includes the St. Lawrence Market North and St. Lawrence Hall. The current building was opened in 1902, incorporating the 1845 Toronto City Hall building into the structure and was restored during the 1970s. We hope you enjoyed this little tour around Toronto's biggest and most popular food market. We hope to see you in the next video.